happens today despite the many assurances by the government to take steps to ensure safety of women in the country. There is no stopping the spate of crimes in the country. There's no end to the rape spree, the reports that are coming in of incidents of rape in various parts of the country. In the last 24 to 48 hours, close to 16 rape cases have been reported. Will all these women get justice? Well, India's daughters aren't safe and this fact was once again highlighted in a horrific tale from Patiala. Even as Delhi streets are bubbling with protests, it took the suicide of a 17-year-old rape victim for the police to act on her complaint. A 17-year-old girl who was subject to a horrific gang rape and was threatened to silence by her tormentors fought for several weeks for justice. She suffered through the violence of the crime and subsequent humiliation at the hands of the authorities. But her weeks of struggle amounted to little in the face of India's uncaring police. जिस वक्त जी उस दोस्त करे आ रहे थे वापस उस वक्त कटना हो गया दो मुंडे सी जी ने मेरा किडनैप किया तो उस मैं रोला बड़ा पाया जी सुन स्पटा थान सी जिस दे मेरी किसी ने मेरी आवाज नहीं सुनी उस वक्त उस जनानी ने भी मदद मांगी है पर उन्होंने मेरी मदद नहीं की थी उन्होंने उन्हों का साथ दिता है उन्होंने सू धमकियां दी ने अगर किसी पास गए तो थोड़ा मार देंगे या थोड़े घर दिन किसी भी नुकसान पहुंचा देंगे इसलिए जी असी ये कदम नहीं चुकया Well, she was brave enough to defy the threats of her tormentors, but it was the attitude of the police that drove her to suicide. In a suicide note, the girl says that not only did the police refuse to register an FIR, but she was in fact threatened with criminal action if she pursued her case, indicating a clear nexus between the police and the criminals in the state. Now, her unfortunate and unnecessary suicide has jolted the Punjab police into action, but as usual, it's a case of too little, too late, and it comes at the cost of yet another life. ਇਹ ਆਈ ਸੀ ਸਾਡੇ ਕੋਲੇ 27 11 ਨੂੰ 27 11 ਨੂੰ ਬੈਨ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਪਰਚਾ ਦਰਜ ਕਰਤਾ ਸੀ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਮੇਲ ਮੁਲਜ਼ਮ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਗ੍ਰਿਫਤਾਰ ਕਰ ਕੀਤੇ ਜਾ ਚੁੱਕੇ ਨੇ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਆਲਰੇਡੀ ਹੁਣ ਇਹਨੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਕੋਈ ਸੂਸਾਈਡ ਨੋਟ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਵੀ ਮੈਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਬਦੌਲਤ ਦੁਖੀ ਹੋ ਕੇ ਸੂਸਾਈਡ ਕੀਤਾ ਉਹਦੇ ਖਿਲਾਫ ਕਾਰਵਾਈ ਕੀਤੀ ਜਾ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ Well, this leads us to ask should it have taken a tragic suicide for police to simply file an FIR? How many more rapes will it take before that mindset changes? Is the problem actually limited to the police or do they derive from their political masters? My colleague Manaman Sinchina now joins us live from Chandigarh on this horrific story. Man, it's a crying shame that this girl was just asking for an FIR to be registered that wasn't registered. In a suicide note, she clearly mentions that she faced humiliation at the hands of, of cops who refused to register that FIR. Could a case of abetment of suicide be made against these police officers who did not register the complaint? Yes, absolutely, Rochika. Uh, there does seem to be a case for abetment uh, to suicide against these cops who did not register an FIR for 14 days and made the rape victim come to police station, asked her uncomfortable questions, and this is what she has mentioned in her suicide note. There is definitely a case for abetment to suicide to be registered against them, yet the Punjab government has only gone and taken punitive action, departmental action against them, dismissing two uh, police officers and suspending one of them. Uh, the demand from that area, from that village, and of course the unfortunate parents of the girl is that uh, these cops who pressurized her, they must be brought to law. An absolutely heartbreaking story of a rape victim who just wanted uh, to pursue uh, through law, bring, her bring the perpetrators of this crime to justice. She had to die for that FIR to be registered. Manveer, of course, keep continuing uh, to track this story with you through the day. Thank you for joining us this morning.